I was a volunteer at St. Mark's Refuge, and St. Mark's was looking for various ways to get involved with citizen science. They had identified a number of trees and palms around the visitor center that they wanted to use for the project. I'm pretty much self-taught. Um, I, <laughs> I have a degree in horticulture, which helped me a lot, and I'm also a master gardener, and I know a lot about native plants, so that helped me a lot. Um, when I was looking at the various plant material. And then I went online onto your website and got familiar with your website and how to enter the data and read up on the phenophases and of the various plants that we had set up. And then finally I worked with you or someone there on the staff to set up my own ID so that I could actually input the data under my name. When I first started, it was a little overwhelming, but I, I knew what the plants were, but I had to get accustomed to exactly what I was looking for, whether I was looking for a, you know, a leaf bud versus a flower bud, whether I was looking for um, the various fruit that might come out on it or the pine cones or what was happening with the pine cones. So I, it took me a while to become familiar with each of the plants and the season in which I started looking at them to determine what I was looking for. So that was a little tricky at first. And then it took commitment and perseverance to stick with it and some self-discipline because at first you felt like, gee, I really don't know um, everything about these plants and I, um, I'm the kind of person that wants to do it correct wants to have the information to be correct because when you're studying something the accuracy is important. For the first six months it was pretty tough and after that I started seeing the changes and started to understand what was going on better with the plants, the very specific things. You know I could tell if a pine cone was closed or open, I could tell if it was last year's pine cone or this year's pine cone, I could tell if it was green, you know various things like that. I guess my advice would be just to um, get as familiar as you can with, can with the plants and also to understand that the help is there if you need it. Not to be shy, to ask for help if you need it. Not to give up. It's worthwhile. It's very interesting once you get over the hump to find, you know, you start seeing the changes. You start getting very used to the plants. So stick with it would be another of my advice. If you're going to deal with trees and such as they're taller, it's good to have binoculars and a camera. I found myself, I have good binoculars so I can really look at the plants better or even the scope if you had it and a good camera so you can take some pictures and later on kind of look at the data that you've collected and, and review what you've seen. It's nice if you could have a buddy. The more people involved is helpful. If you could go out with a couple people so that you both can have eyes on it. I think the more eyes you have on it, the better. <laughs>